good day ladies and gentlemen now in this video we'll be checking out simple logic and what is logic logic is is the study of truth and how we can study truth through mat mathematical deductions that is how truths can be studied using true mathematical inductions so mathematical deduction i mean so we say symbolic logic so the word prop proposition proposition is the basic building block of of what of a logic now it is defined as a declarative statement declarative statement that is in in the sense that it can either be true or false so in the real life in real life situations we know is either we have false or or true is either we have positive or negative so 6 plus 4 is equals to 10 is a true statement y 6 minus 4 equals to 10 is a false statement and we have types of statement now the types of statement that we have i'm starting with the conditional statement why because conditional statements is the building block of all types of all other statement that we have now it is defined as p implies q that statement that symbol is separating p and q is called what is called a connective but the p implies q itself means implication it is an implication we call it implied so that is it where p is representing what an hypothesis q is represent what q is representing a conclusion so it is therefore an implication it will say that p implies q p is connecting q but the symbol between p and q itself is called what is called a connective so the arrow is called a connective now we have different type of connectives but before that let's check out what compound propositions are we already know what proposition is we know we know that proposition is also called a statement and it is the basic building block of what of a logic so a compound proposition is the combination of two or more proposition so when we have two or more proposition it is called a compound it is called a compound proposition and of course when um the compound proposition is always possible um pos is always true we call it a tautology and if the compound proposition is always false for all possible values it is called a contradiction so there is a difference between a tautology and a contradiction when we say tautology it means that we are speaking in terms of true values only p is true q is true definitely what it is it is a tautology but when p is false and q is false it is what it is a contradiction so that is it now we also have types of connectives the first type of connective is known as o and the symbol is represented as v something like v we have and we have negation now they also have their compound statements once i'll show you the name the other names of all in in the next slide i'll show you the other names of which they are all is called and is called all is called a an injunction uh, and all is called disjunction and is called injunction where where we have negation negation is also known as not we have equivalent equivalent is known as by conditional why implication is known as conditional itself we also have another one for um implication you see that implication is also known as implies so is either you call it it implies or you call it conditional why equivalent equivalent is also known as two of implication because we are dealing with two implications so that is that Now this is the table I promised. Now um, we have the truth table for connectives, and you can just go through the tables. You see, we have not and or if then, only if if and only if. So we have the negation equivalent, and you should know the other 
names of which they are being called so take note of these they which is very very important all right so let's quickly check the usage of the propositions or statement now it is very good to know them but it is also good to know the the usage of these propositions let's take negation for example tolu is a girl now the negation for tolu is negation p not p tolu is not a girl so you can see the symbol written at the back so if p and q are compound statement they are conjunction now i wrote conjunction in both let in big letter weight so you can understand i will tell you what a conjunction is is denoted as is denoted as that so so tolu is a brilliant girl let's say p tolu is a brilliant girl q tolu is hard working so the combination of the two of them is what we call conjunction you understand that's compound statement you understand i said something about compound statement earlier so p and q that's p and q so tolu is brilliant and hard working so let's quickly move to what truth table are so i'll give you the examples of truth table now all right guys so i need you to pay full attention to this now conjunction of and we have this junction or and we have negation not so conjunction most people call it most people call it injunction you understand but it is conjunction we have conjunction is for and we, we have this junction for all and we have negation you understand now look at look at um conjunction for for example now for conjunction to take place it, it means that both p and q must be true so if p is true and q is true it means that p and q must also be true that is the only thing you should put in your head when it comes to conjunction now the rest does not work you see the second one p is true q is false so definitely it will be false the third one the so far one of them is so far the two of them is not true all of them will be false so the only condition that obeys conjunction is that the two of them must be true that is for conjunction that is for conjunction that is for and you understand now unlike unlike disjunction that is all for disjunction what you should always follow for disjunction is if at least one for negation that is if at least one is true you understand definitely p or q will be true so the first one the two of them they are true true so it is true the second one one is false so it's it's one is only one is true then it is true the third one only one is true then it is true and the last one the two of them they are false definitely the two of them must be false so if it is false false it will be false if it is true true it will be true but if one is true then p or q must also be what p or q must also be what true so that is that for disjunction or or negation is very simple negation is very straightforward negation is that it is the opposite so true true must be false the last one false false must be true so it's the opposite what the opposite but the middle ones the one that come last will always be your answer truth times false must, must give you false false times true must give you what true so that is it ah double implication is also known as biconditional so this one is straightforward it says that when p and q are both true or they are both um the uh, p and q p implies q must be is true when p and q are both true or they are both false so it means that true true p and q must be true then p implies q must also be true f and f must be false it implies that um p and q must also be false which implies that p and q must be what p implies q must be true so we are concentrating on the truth part that's what we have after we are not after um the false part so for the two of them to be true or for p and q to be true it implies that the two must be true and it's more at the same time it must be false so true true t t will give you t false false will also give you t you understand so that's the law 
So it's the, any other one that does not obey the law will fall on that force. You can see those middle ones, they fall on that force. T and F will give us force. F and T will also give us force because they do not obey the law. So the law is that T, T, it is T, T that must give you truth and force, force must also give you what? Truth. So that is it. So we now, move on to for the, the last, last one implication, to implication. Table, look at the second line the second line says that truth times force must give you force so that's the only condition that is applicable for implication so for you to remember implication to table in exam just remember that truth times truth times force will give you force so the rest other one the remaining ones will give you true true no matter how it is it can be true t t will give you t f t will give you t f f will give you t so just put this one on your mind that when you multiply when you have the truth the condition for truth and force it implies that that is our conclusion will be that it must give us what a force so that is it for truth and force so let's quickly check on the last phase of this video where we'll be checking converse inverse and transpositive um, statements.